The first auction for procuring frequency response services through the new EAC happened on November 2nd, 2023. This introduced significant changes to bidding for frequency response services. So far, how are participants taking advantage of the new functions this platform has to offer? The biggest change is that participants can now submit multiple bids in an Ether block for several services. The ESC's algorithm will then clear the market at the best price. This is co-optimization. On average, so far, 44% of units have submitted bids with multiple baskets and multiple products. This means almost half of all units have already used co-optimization. Each service is now seeing more bid volume than ever before. The average volume bid into dynamic moderation is almost three times what it was in the week before the launch of the EAC. In dynamic regulation, it's almost two times as much. Another change is that units can simultaneously deliver different services. This is called splitting. And on average, 30% of units have already submitted bids that use this new function. The final big change is that the new platform allows participants to submit negative bid prices, which essentially means paying to deliver a service. 14% of baskets so far have included bids for high services at a negative price. Dynamic regulation has seen the biggest impact from this with the clearing price in the high service turning negative in 37 out of the first 42 Ether blocks since the EAC launched. Thanks for watching, see you next time.